Desmond Ritter got his first start in this game, and he did a lot of good things. Let's talk about some of the things he did pre-snap as opposed to post-snap that give him a chance to win. Now, I love this formation here. You got a spread formation. So the spread formation gives him an ideal look of what's going on on the outside in the perimeter. So first thing I want you to watch is where's the leverage of these particular defensive backs. Now, pre-snap, he knows, okay, look at this third guy. He's uncovered. Now, uncovered, he knows somebody has to go to him. So they're acting like they're blitzing, but this is the guy who's actually going to run to him, and also he's going to throw away from rotation. Safety rotation goes down. Now, let's talk about the route combination on the outside. You got what I call a basic on the inside, and then you got a slant on the outside, and you got a hitch on this side. Now on the front side here, you got a slant by Drake London, and then you got an outside release go route. Now pre-snap, you want to know where he wants to go with the football. He has to know leverage of DBs, but also where guys are going. This particular defensive back has inside leverage. It's not really good to throw a slant versus inside leverage. On the snap of the ball, he's actually going to get outside leverage from him, which gives him an easy path to throw this football in on the snap of the ball. So watch what happens at the snap of the football. He's going to come out and then Boom. Now look at the rotation. Here's the linebacker that was standing here. He's running to the inside. He's going to take away whatever's on the inside is basic. He also got this safety coming down, guarding this way. Now look at the leverage again. Leverage on this guy. Let's work away from that. Now you work to the bottom. You got your big receiver at the bottom. Look at the outside leverage. Him understanding where the ball should go pre-snap as opposed to post-snap. And now you got leverage to hit this inside slant with him running away from coverage and you have this huge void in the middle of the throw to football. This is a nice job of hitting his back foot and watch this football comes out, boom. You love that, easy completion, third down, and it's an easy completion. Like I mentioned, look at the down, it's third and six now. This is a nice job of hitting his back foot and the ball coming out on time with all this separation. Now you give your receiver a nice catchable ball. Nice job of recognizing pre-snap versus post-snap coverage. Thank you guys for joining me. This is Falcon Film Review powered by Microsoft Surface. Next, let's talk about what he does inside the pocket as far as toughness and letting the football go on time, but also recognizing what he needs to recognize when the ball is snapped. You're going to get play action this way, and you're going to get a blitzer off the edge. This doesn't look like he wants to blitz, but he ends up coming off the edge here. Now, here's the route he wants to hit. He wants to hit this slant over the middle. So you're going to get a switch release. Switch release means he comes here, and he's going to go outside and run a like semi-post, a little basic route as well. And you got motion coming across, and you got a little out route here. But watch the play action that goes here. His head goes away from the defense. And like I mentioned, this is the blitz coming at him. The first thing he has to do is get his head around so that he has eyesight on what's happening. So watch here. Play action, boom. Look how fast he gets his head around. Now he has time to see this blitzing defender. And now this route is not open yet. This is the route he wants to hit coming across. But watch how he gets his head around and then stands in there. Look at this. He has a guy barreling down on him right here, standing here, showing the toughness and to, li to deliver a strike. Look at all this room he has to run, but delivering a strike here, standing there, making a big time throw. The last thing, I just want you to see how important it is for him to get his head around at the snap. As soon as he goes off this play action, the number one thing he has to do is get his head around immediately to see this pressure. Sometimes it's the defensive end, but on this particular play, it's the nickel coming off the edge. Watch the head snap around. Now you got eyes. Look at this. Head snapped around. He sees the voided area that he wants to throw to while the defensive back is barreling down on him and completes this. Nice, strong throw. Good toughness standing in the pocket, delivering the football. His teammates will respect him a lot for that. All right, we got another play action here inside the pocket I want to show you, but he does a good job of called ball placement on this particular route. You're going to get two over routes here. Drake's going to come across and you got an over route. Then you got Michael Pruitt coming across on the over route as well. But the thing you have to pay attention to are these underneath defenders, especially in zone coverage. You're going to get play action, and they're going to get sucked up just a little bit, but they do actually do a pretty good job of getting back underneath these over routes that you're going to see happen. Play action comes across. Look at the linebackers. They're up here now, up here now. They're doing a good job of you selling the fake. They're getting up. But after this, watch them get back underneath. Now look at this guy. He's getting back underneath this coming across. Here's the crossing route he wants to hit Pruitt on coming across here. But watch what he does. Instead of throwing him across the field where this guy is going and underneath this particular defender, he holds him up here in the little zone right here and pulls him up. Watch how he makes him stop a little bit. See how he stopped right there? Here's that backer that was running to this area where the ball was going to go. 
but this is a good job of the tight end and the quarterback understanding coverage and seeing the field because a lot of guys would throw it across the field trying to throw him open, but he does a good job of standing in there and throwing him open to the open spot in the field instead of trying to lead him across. This is what you call seeing the field really well, but understanding coverage, understanding what you're seeing and doing it at a fast pace. Watch it one more time. Really does a good job coming off this fake. Watch the head snap around, boom. Finds those linebackers. First thing he does is where are the linebackers? Comes across, nice job here of finishing, boom. Putting it on him, that's another big time completion on first down that keeps those chains moving, and he understands exactly where to go with the football, regardless of coverage, but he's shown the poise inside the pocket that you like the most. This has been Falcons Film Review. I'm DJ Shockley. It's been powered by Microsoft Surface.